So it is New Year's Eve when I'm filming this, and this should shock absolutely no one that I'm spending my New Year's Eve like this. But hey, I enjoy it, and I'm finally able to show you one of my last pickups of 2020. And just be aware that a lot of things you see uh, to start off 2021 are actually 2020 pickups just hitting my doorstep. Like, it's taking a minute. I'm being patient, though, because this was worth the wait to actually try on. And I must say, it's probably one of my favorite pickups of 2020. I'm just a little disappointed there aren't more colorways in my size. And that's right. I'm talking about the Jordan Delta, one of the most comfortable shoes I picked up all 2020. Everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ Two Shoes Chains. Again, it's the very first weekend of 2021. So I hope you guys had an amazing holiday. I hope you celebrated in a safe way. And now you're able to just relax, chill, recover. It's a Sunday. You're watching me. I'm ready to watch my Colts and we'll just see what unfolds for the day. Again, uh, why am I still filming on the podcast, Mike? Because I was just too lazy to get the other one. And I actually need to go film episode two of Mike Up, which you guys can always view and listen to on uh on my feet on instagram and then i'll make sure to drop once the podcast uh sessions are actually available for you to listen to uh wherever you listen to podcasts but if you are brand new hit the subscribe button hit the like button i do appreciate it to swoosh crew i'm not i'm not uh, i don't think i'm gonna do daily videos but We'll see. I know I need some breathing room because I have other projects and other responsibilities that will be on my plate for this year in 2021. I'm really excited for those, but I, I, I still got to be up on my content for you all because we still got shoes, we got clothes, but we have a lot of discussion videos for the year ahead. And this one right here, it's insane to think that it's one of my favorite pickups of 2020 and it was one of the Last ones I picked up, and it was very last minute. So to be clear, this is the GS version of the Vachetta Tan. Now, there were three original colorways that came out in this. It was more so like the white, transparent blue. You had black, and then it was this color, the Vachetta Tan. And to me, it's one of the most eye-capturing colorways. I love the fact that it has more of this like seafoam green, seafoam <laughs> green, uh, um, color on the tongue and then on a lot of the detailing and in the laces, but you also have this bright red that we're used to seeing on Jordan sneakers, but it just takes it to another level when you mix it with the actual tan, in my opinion. Now, let's just break down. So Edison Chin is the actual you know designer who helped inspire this Jordan silhouette. And to me, when it comes to Jordan trainers, I actually think they don't get enough respect or enough shine. My only gripe with them, they will start at a seven or a seven and a half. So that kind of nixes me always having a chance to get them. And Jordan Brand, I would just ask that you do better in that um, because I really want to try out other silhouettes that aren't just retros by Jordan. And when it comes to this being comfortable, it is hands down one of the most comfortable Jordans you'll ever put, ever put on. Now, I would put it up there with the five and with the 13. To me, those are the most comfortable Jordans that you can ever put on in terms of retros. Now for this one, I opted for grade school 
not women's. I did that just full disclosure because of the price. So this is on sale right now for, I believe, $54 on Nike's website. So ladies, if you are a smaller foot, uh, smaller size and you would like to get them, I think they had maybe the six and the six and a half left. Now, when we're talking about sizing, please go true to your normal size that you would get, I would say, in like a Jordan... 13 or even a Jordan 5. I'm just going to say that because I get a six in those. And with this, I originally got the six and a half way too big. This is a really wide base when we're talking about a Jordan. It's a really wide base. So I would not in any way go up. Um, that's just me. It's a wider base. I'm going to be honest with you. It actually reminds me more of an Adidas sole than it would be um, a Jordan sole, but it's pretty wide. But the fact that they use React Foam in the midsole makes it so comfortable. I love it. Now, is it as comfortable as the React Presto? Does it rival that? No, <laughs> there are not a lot of Nikes that can rival that. At least in my opinion, I'll just say that. But this is one of the best pickups of myself for 2020. Now, when you look at the inspiration of this, it's lifestyle, but it really does take on its own meaning with the, um, it, it has a modern contemporary feel to it, but they left a lot of it still unfinished and a little bit deconstructed. Now with the overlays, you have mesh, um, you kind of have a netting. Now, again, if you have the actual women's or men's pair, your netting will be true netting. It won't be, um, kind of the, the fusion that I have on mine, which is grade school. You lose some detailing in grade school pairs. You really do. Now the women's pair, it wasn't as discounted. I think this colorway might have still been the same price, the original price. I just didn't want to pay that. I'm being real with you. I just figured this was a really great steal. It's a brand new silhouette that came out earlier in 2020. So if I were to try or test it out, um, doing it on discount to me just seemed like the way to go. Now, what I like about this, okay, it's very subtle in terms of the branding on the sneaker. Now, if you look at the back, like where it has the traditional wings, which I am wearing that, that hoodie that you guys love. So it does have the silhouette of the wings logo, but it's not the actual wings logo all the way. I don't know if I can pull the insole out. I'm trying right here. This was very impromptu. I didn't plan to do this, but I wanted to show you guys what the insole looks like. Okay. So you actually have, oh, I'll do it this way. Okay. So you actually have the different types of wing logos going down on the actual insole itself, but everything is very subtle. So you may not even think that this is a Jordan sneaker. You may think, oh, it's just a really cool fused, you know, lifestyle runner trainer. Maybe now would I run in these? No, I would actually not, but that's just me. Um, the other difference you'll have women, if you're getting grade school versus, uh, the adult pair, the actual bottom. So you're going to have more detailing, more traction. There's actually a translucent, um, part that, that, um, is connected to the actual bottom sole. So just know, it, they don't give us that with a grade school pair, but the exposed foam on the tongue, I really like it. It's something I love about off-white sneakers um, that collaborate with Nike or Jordan. It's also something I love about a lot of blazer vintage pairs. So to throw that out there. Now, in terms of styling this, I just kept it simple with two different outfits. So one is actually a Jordan t-shirt in red that I cropped into a crop top. You have the Jordan cargo utility pants. Remember, I picked those up at Foot Locker during employee appreciation. And then I just took a uh, Airy Street wear a hoodie and I tied that around my waist. Now, if my hair was not in a bun, I'd probably throw on um, a white Jordan dad hat, but again, my hair is in a bun, so that was not possible. But that's the very first outfit. So comfortable, casual, you know, got the hoodie tied around the waist. And then the second one is a little bit more of athleisure, right? Because if you throw a top coat on with anything, well, it kind of gives it the Jerry effect. And they match, the, the coat matches perfectly with the, so I went with the camel coat. That's actually an H&M coat. This hoodie, which is my stacked um, logo hoodie. So it's got the uh, Nike Air and then the Jordan Wings logo. And then you have the women's Jordan, like I believe they are called still the utility pants um, that I picked up off Nike when they dropped earlier for the women's NYC inspired collection. And you have these. So two different looks. You guys can certainly let me know in the comment section which one you like more, but I really wish the some of the men's colorways came in grade school too. So maybe I'll hold out. And if more colorways drop in 2021 for this sneaker, I'll pick those up. Again, I'm really happy to have this. When you think about 
Jordan brand venturing into more lifestyle, like true lifestyle. Retros aren't really lifestyle. We've made them lifestyle because there, there's so much other tech that's out there for a comfortable, innovative, and performance-based sneaker when it comes to Nike basketball, but, and even like Jordan's actual 34s, 35s. <laughs> but for this one, to me, it's a true lifestyle sneaker that is probably slept on. But for anyone who guessed the Jordan Delta, yes, absolutely. Um, so hopefully you guys got a really good look at it based on all of the B-roll that I provided. Um, if you want to read the actual breakdown and interview with Edison Chan, I would highly suggest you do that. I think he brought something amazing to the game of Jordan when it comes to a lifestyle sneaker. Um, I'd be excited to see what he does more if he does anything else with the Jordan brand. Again, Jordan, can I get more colorways in a size six? I would really appreciate that. But thank you guys for being patient with me and getting this out because goodness knows it took a minute. Um, again, I have a lot of other things that are coming in based on 2020. Uh, I have a Richie Lee unboxing to do for you guys. Um, I have other Nike Fear of God items coming in. I have Fear of God fitteds coming in. So as those arrive, I will promise, I promise to get those up here on the channel. But thank you guys again so much. As always, extra age, not your shoe size. I hope you have an amazing start to your new year. Just to remind you as well, merch is available now, okay? From January 1st through the 31st, you guys can go onto afreshculture.com and actually pick up your extra age, not your shoe size crew neck. So you have it in black and you have it in cream and they will fit true to size. So it's not oversized like you would think it would be just because I'm a Jerry girl. Now it's true to size. So um, once you order those, you should have a got it as well that pops up for you to share on social media. Be sure to do that. All right, extra age, not your shoe size. Bye crew neck, peace out. <laughs>